first hits two, two grand. Just the first hit. And then you gotta buy the kids. And the guys, you have to guard the kids because it's so thin, I want to buy that guy. First off, I want to say thanks to all the drivers, uh, special thanks to all the veterans for being out here. We thank you for your service. We, uh, we hope today is, uh, turns out to be a good time. Please remember that this is a dry trail. The LEOs will be out there. If you have an uh, open container ticket, that's not just bad for you, that's bad for the wheelers for the wounded event. Okay? So please keep that in mind that this trail needs to be a normal, abide by the rules trail. It's not a free for all out there. Safety wise, drivers, make sure your vets are, you know, every, they have everything that they need in terms of safety. When we're leaving, as soon as we finish our meeting, the Rockheads have set up a sandwich bar. Please go through, make yourself a sandwich, put it in your ice chest. We're going to have it for lunch. We're going to go to the Little Sluice Box, and the private property owners are going to let us drive back around the backside. We'll do a little swimming. We'll have some lunch at Spider. We're going to leave Little Sluice at 3 o'clock. Let me reiterate, we are going to leave the Little Sluice at 3 o'clock. Dinner is going to be at 6 when we get back here. Where is Tom Allgaier? Raise your hand, Tom. Tom is our Wheelers for the Wounded medic. He's an EMT, he's a professional. If there's anything that you need that you can't handle from your own first aid kit, anything else like that, you need to see Tom. He's got the professional know how to take care of our emergencies. We have two ham radios on the trail to ensure our safety. We got five ham radio, six ham radios on the trail. So that should be taken care of. Um, Are we running a channel or anything? On the channel CB? 16 on the CBs. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's, it's the normal rules of the trail. Okay. Yeah, you know, but like I said, if you're out there and you get an open container ticket, that's not, sure. it's reflective of this program. And, uh, and, I, and I would hope that you would respect the program enough not to do that. Uh, make sure you pick up all your trail trash. Uh, again, this is, this is our trail. All you drivers should be familiar with it. You should know how to treat it. Is there any veterans that don't have their stickers? Come see me after the meeting. Is there any other questions? I think that's all I have. I oh got <clears throat> Everybody, I noticed a couple people that weren't familiar with the trail. Keep your hands inside the vehicle at all times, no matter what it takes. You never know if you're gonna slip off a rock, your hands on the outside of the roll cage. I've seen people come out of here with their hands so swollen up, they look like sausages. Keep your hands inside, no matter what it takes. You gotta hold the bottom of the seat, you gotta hold whatever hands inside period into story uh, you guys are stacking rocks you got somebody in the vehicle somebody's a little stuck make sure they've got it shut off in park and they can hear you clearly when you're stacking rocks um, wear gloves really good idea and uh, as far as safety you covered everything else yeah. so yeah Mike can I add something don't get used to holding the cage you know when you're going 
going down the trail, it's a habit. Everybody that doesn't get in a Jeep all the time, they want to stick their hand up here. Well, the first thing that happens if you do start to roll is you naturally go like that. So if you just don't get used to grabbing that cage anywhere, it's a good plan. So everybody ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, let's make our lunches and uh, we'll get ready to pack up the ice chest and hit the road.